Most members have no trouble, Mr Mallard, in finding a map to have a look at where countries are. Question number nine, Jackie Dean. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Defence and asks, how have recent New Zealand Defence Force exercises contributed towards the government's goal of developing a joint amphibious task force? Mr Speaker. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, the New Zealand Defence Force recently completed Exercise Southern Katapo, one of the largest military exercises ever order, conducted order, in New Zealand. Um, order. I just need to stop uh, the family chatter that's occurring. Uh, between both sides of the House. Could the Minister please start his answer sure. again? Mr Speaker, the New Zealand Defence Force recently completed Exercise Southern Katapo, one of the largest military exercises ever conducted in New Zealand. This involved 2,200 military personnel from 10 countries. The exercise tested the NZDF's ability to mount a medium-scale amphibious operation involving maritime, land and air assets. I'm pleased to advise the House that the exercise demonstrated that the New Zealand Defence Force has made great progress in building amphibious capability and remains on track to have a fully operational Joint Amphibious Task Force by 2015. Supplementary question, Jackie Dean. To the Minister, what is the value to New Zealand in the New Zealand Defence Force developing a Joint Amphibious Task Force? Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Mr Speaker, the Defence White Paper 2010 placed a greater focus on security within our own region. Accordingly, the Defence Force turned its focus towards developing the capability to deliver humanitarian assistance and respond to security situations in the South West Pacific. The ability to, de to deploy land forces across large stretches of ocean, by sea or by air, and sustain those forces once there, is therefore crucial to the New Zealand Defence Force. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Jackie Dean. To the Minister. What capability upgrades has the government invested in to help deliver the Joint Amphibious Task Force? Okay. Honourable Dr Jonathan Coleman. Recognising that amphibious operations would require strength and capabilities, the government has committed to a number of capability purchases, including a new fleet of medium and heavy operational vehicles capable of being deployed in medium and high threat environments, and an increased number of upgraded Sea Sprite helicopters with a range of upgraded avionics, communications, radars, weapons and other systems on board superior to the existing fleet. Question number 10, Dr.